Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about boosting your FPS in Skyrim and as a side note the information here will be helpful for things like Fallout as well. Firstly I'd like to explain how using mods that entirely remove physical things from the game can cause crashes as the game will look for files not present. Use mods that hide, shrink or lower resolution instead. All my suggestions are consistently in my order and have never caused crashes. Another tip is to avoid consistent use of Godray mods, however it's smart to have them disabled but on deck just in case. With all that said though, let's get started. Up first we have Falling Leaves Remove, which gets rid of the animation of falling leaves. This mod raises your FPS by 2-5 to five depending on where you are. It comes in Wonders in Full Creef and the Rift, the two worst FPS areas in the game. And let's be honest, who amongst us has ever even noticed or appreciated this part of the game? Imperial Agent 1992 has removed this blight for us. I have experienced zero crashes due to this mod, so I highly recommend it for anyone spending time in forested areas or using a lot of foliage mods. Another mod from IA92 is Plant Animation Remove, which claims to boost FPS by 5 to 7, which is great! It achieves this boost by removing the silly plant animations that are meant to symbolise things like wind. Use this mod in conjunction with Skyrim is Windy and you'll get the effect and the FPS. Plus, who's ever really seen plants dance, right? Another mod specifically designed to help FPS in foresty areas, where the game struggles. This is mostly due to how the game engine does tree lookups way too often. Building on that last mod, I also use TLS No Wind Better Performance, which removes the wind animations from all of Skyrim. They're unsightly and badly implemented, causing huge FPS strains. With this mod installed, you should throw Skyrim is windy on, which is superior wind to vanilla and little to no FPS strains, and you know it's good because I've mentioned it twice. But back to no wind. This mod will raise FPS in heavy forested areas again, meaning the Rift and Fulcreef will no longer feel like you're walking through treacle. Now for a mod that deals with an area you're always near but never really see. Underwater. Who amongst us really swims in Skyrim? Even with better swim animations it's pointless and badly handled by the engine, so underwater optimization is a must. The only one of these mods that actually takes up any memory space at all, it's 6 megabytes, whereas the other ones are all pretty much under 50 kilobytes, or even under 1 kilobyte in some cases. This deals with a whole bunch. It sets the scale of all underwater items like rocks and plants at 0 or 1. Again, this is a especially helpful around the rift, where there are huge bodies of water. The author, Morrigan Helsing, does state that it can cause crashes. They're possible, but really rare. With this mod on, I see a pretty consistent 30 frames per second in most areas and a huge bump in the rift. Last up is FPS Boost, a mod that lowers the resolution of rain, snow and falling leaves that PV, the author, states move too fast for anyone to see anyway. PV or Pevy or however the name is said also states that you are welcome to tweak this mod as you feel, allowing you to edit it and sort of either speed it up, slow it down, raise or lower the resolution, it's up to you, you have free reign here. I use FPS boost for a consistent bump around the map as the small drops in frames whenever you hit extreme weathers. That's going to do it for me today, I will drop all of the links and even some extras that people rate highly and that I would suggest happily below. If this has helped, remember to like, subscribe and please comment with your suggestions and FPS must-haves. I'll see you in the next one.